Hey, what's going on everybody? So if you didn't know, we got another Nintendo Direct this month. Um, came out on the 26th of March. And I just kind of wanted to touch on a few games that they showed off that I was actually interested in. I'm not going to talk about any of the games that I didn't have any interest in, mostly because I feel like I'm not going to be able to do those titles justice, so I'll just stay away from them. But first up, the first game I'm really looking forward to is Xenoblade Chronicles, the Definitive Edition. So this is pretty much just, I guess, the HD remake of the first one that came out on the Wii, which was Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, I guess calling it the Definitive Edition is their way of trying to maybe not really cover up, but maybe kind of beautify it up that it's, you know, it's not just a remake of the same game. Uh, even though this is the case, I am looking forward to it because myself, I've only played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 when it came out on the Switch. I never played the first one, even though I did have a Wii. Um, I didn't play my Wii <laughs> that much, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> so I missed a lot of games that came out on the Wii just because the system, it just got, it just got old for me. Um, but this is a good opportunity for me to be able to play the first one now that they've kind of remastered it for the Switch. And they've also added on some content to the game as well. So that's great. I mean, I can't wait to see this game. Can't wait to actually play it. Uh, it's supposed to come out May 29th of 2020. So hopefully that, that date doesn't get pushed back. Obviously we have all the things going on in the world right now that could, that could negatively impact their logistical you know the logistical operations or anything like that so never know we may not get the game on time hopefully we do because i do want to play that um as i said the xenoblade chronicles 2 was my first endeavor into the game and it was one of those games that i didn't know anything about and i only picked it up because i was looking for a good rpg well i was looking for a rpg on the switch at the time and i decided you know what let me go ahead and just give this thing a shot and I'm really glad I did. It turned out to be one of my favorite RPGs, a uh, great story. Um, the battle system took a little getting used to. Uh, so, and mostly because I feel like the game didn't do it justice. But outside of that, once I learned the battle system and I actually figured it out and things like that, um, I actually did a video on that. So if you wanna click up here, uh, you can go ahead and watch that if you were kind of confused or maybe still confused on that battle system. But like I said, once I figured that out, it really made me fully enjoy the game because I already love the story. I loved, you know, the whole wide open atmosphere of the game. I loved all the interactions you had with the blades, how many different blades there were. It was just a really great game. Um, so I'm only, <laughs> I, I'm really looking forward to what the first one, you know, what the first one had in store. Um, since I did miss that one and I feel like now they polished it up it should look better should play better hopefully and also gave us some additional content uh, so I'm really looking forward to that one now as for the second game I'm looking forward to oddly enough it's the exact same scenario except for no it's reversed because Xenoblade Chronicles I played the second one and I'm looking forward to the first one uh, the second game I'm looking forward to is Bravely Default 2 um, I haven't played the first one so this one I'm actually just more so looking forward to it based on what was showed on the Nintendo Direct uh, not only just because it's a Square Enix game I have really good faith in them being able to pull off a good RPG obviously their track record speaks for itself um, but just looking at the game looking at the battle system kind of felt more like that traditional JRPG feel which I feel is lacking right now it doesn't get a lot of representation Maybe it does and we just don't get the games or maybe it does and I'm just aloof to them existing. But uh, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that game as well. I uh, love the animations, love the artwork, love the graphics. Well, I guess not the graphics, more the artwork because the Nintendo Switch really isn't known to have like those type of graphics that you would get with a PlayStation or Xbox. But the way they do their artwork and the way they do take advantage of the hardware they have it usually makes games look pretty beautiful i mean we have zelda we have mario odyssey games like that that really show you like this thing 
if you know what you're doing, you know, depending on what kind of art style you use and things like that, you can make a really beautiful game. And Bravely Default looked great in what we were shown. Hopefully the game looks like that. Um, I actually am downloading the demo right now. So I'll probably try to throw up a little video about the demo and my thoughts on that once it finishes. Um, so yeah, that game I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and just hopefully it lives up to the hype that's building up inside my head right now. Uh, so yeah, Bravely Default 2, I'm definitely looking forward to getting that one. Now the third and final thing is actually not a game I'm looking forward to since it's really just an add-on or a special event of a game I currently already am playing. And that's Adam Crossing's New Horizon. Uh, they're doing a Easter special event for that game to where you can go out, find eggs and use them to craft special things. Um, I'm putting a lot of time in Animal Crossing right now, so I'm looking forward to that event just to figure out like what little crazy stuff they're going to have us doing, uh, like how in-depth these little egg hunts be. Going on egg hunts with some of my friends that I know that play the game, that should be pretty cool. And just figuring out what crazy stuff we're going to be able to make with these eggs. Granted, it's a limited time thing, so it kind of kind of gets you with the whole FOMO type thing, especially since the game is big on you having items that not not so much that other people don't have but it is great when you have something crazy or something cool somebody comes to visit your island and they're like oh my god like where did you get that from how did you get that like i need to i need that right now like tell me how you got that so you don't want to be one of those people who missed out on the event and then someone gets something super cool that you can only make during the event and then you feel like you left you know you you feel like you missed out so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty much that for that one, I guess. I mean, I just want to figure out what I'm going to do with these eggs. Now, I know that they showed off a lot more than the three games that I touched on. But like I said, I only want to talk about games I had an actual interest in playing when they came out. Um, there was other things that they touched on, uh, like when they brought Bioshock and uh, XCOM 2 and games like that over to the Switch. That really doesn't do much for me just because especially for Bioshock like I played these games before they came out a long time ago on other consoles I'm not gonna rebuy them for the switch and I have no no interest at all on playing these games again on the switch um I guess if you were a big Star Wars person they had something for Star Wars uh, I didn't play or don't plan on playing the Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I've seen they had some DLC for that that's coming out. Um, but like I said, all those things really didn't interest me much. So that's why I kind of steered clear of them. Um, but if there's anything I didn't touch on and that you were interested in, or maybe it's something that you feel like that I am missing a boat on. Like it's something that you feel like, like, yo, I, I need to let this guy know. Like he's missing out on a good game. Like he, he needs to check this game out. And if it was, especially if it's one of the games they touched on in the Nintendo Direct, and please feel free, you know, throw it down in the comments. We always check the comments that way, you know, maybe you can persuade me to try something that's a little outside of my box. Um, but if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. You can always get our uh, all our new stuff we put out. <laughs> and if you really want to know when we put stuff out, make sure you hit the bell so you can get a notification when we put this stuff out. Um, that's going to wrap up this little brief rundown of what I'm looking forward to from this past Nintendo Direct. And with things going on right now, hope you guys stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Be out.